Thanks to Maddie Americata, we get to do another gear ratio video. Yet yay. yay. When I read this comment on my gear ratio calculation video, I was super excited to see a comment from someone I don't already know. So, hint, hint. After I read this, I decided to play around with my collection of gears and try to debunk this comment. And I ended up with this. The first way this comment was actually correct is this. You have a whole bunch of random gears, but the first gear and the last gear are the same. So 36, 36, divided by 36, you'd have the 1-1 one, one ratio. So this moves smoothly because both the first and the last gear go at the same time at the same speed. And that's why you could put this bar here. Because if they weren't going at the same speed, it wouldn't be able to move. Unlike other gear ratios, like this one. What you do is much simpler than what I proposed in my gear ratio calculation video which, check it out, right, that will take you to it if you're on a laptop. So basically, you take the first gear and count the teeth, 36, and the last gear, count the teeth, 36, and then divide by the least common thingy. So basically, they're both divisible by 36, so it's a 1-1 one -one ratio which is correct for this particular gear ratio thing. This also has the same weird gear configuration where it's completely random in the middle. And so the first and the last gear are 60 and 36. So since they're both divisible by 12, you would divide that and you would get a 5-3 ratio. So what that means is it would take 3 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, this one and this one to be the same if you chose this gear to turn, or one, two, three, for these two to get the same from this gear. So I had to choose it this way, because if I did put a bar between, it would not be able to move correctly because both gears are going at different speeds. So for this one, you would take the first gear, so 60, count the teeth, and the last gear, 36, count the teeth, and then find what it, they're both divisible by. So 60 divided by 12, 5. 36 divided by 12, 3. And that's your ratio. And that's how you can calculate your gear ratios much more simply. Alright, thank you for watching. And look for my other videos. I'm always ready for more suggestions. And hey, you might just land yourself a video. Alright, thank you for watching. Alright, just remember, for your robotics club, use this new way to find gear ratio. And... Don't forget, it's spring break where I am, so on Wednesday through Friday, I'm going to do a mini-series on a Domino Lang Vex IQ robot. Uh, so, check that out. I need views. I mean, um, 
Thanks again for watching, and comment down below if you want a video like this one. And I think I'm done with gear ratio, so don't do any more of those comments. Or if you want to, you can. Alright, see you next Wednesday.